anything, Chanel deserves a kiss. Ah! Guys. What's up guys? I am so excited and I'm in such a good mood because BeautyCon is this weekend and I just booked like the bougiest hotel room for me and Allie and I'm so excited so stay tuned for the next vlog. It's gonna be a super bougie BeautyCon vlog because I also made reservations at a really really bougie brunch place for the next morning after BeautyCon so I am just so excited. First things first if you guys don't follow me on Instagram yet you totally should but if you do follow me on Instagram or Snapchat you will know I'm having a free meet and greet. Yes you heard that right a free meet and greet to me all my fancy babies on Saturday, April 13th at R. Seymour Vintage in Hellertown, Pennsylvania. It's a vintage dress shop and it's breakfast at Tiffany's themed. I'm going to insert the ad for the meet and greet right here. Instagram I have the actual Moon River song playing in the background and it's really cute but I'm not gonna do that on this channel because copyright claims have been a real serious thing lately as you guys have probably noticed my intro song to the vlog channel has changed yet again because I just want to play it safe and at the same time I didn't feel like that song represented these vlogs as much as I wanted it to I want to make these vlogs more like the real life Hallmark channel. And that being said, I just started my first garden ever. I'm gonna insert footage here. Me and Colin planted a bunch of flowers yesterday. I've never done anything like this because I've never owned a house before and this is the first house I bought. So I am trying to go garden crazy and then next week I'm gonna plant vegetables in my yard. So the front yard is for pretty flowers and the backyard is gonna be for vegetables. Here's my OOTD. I'm wearing these skinny jeans and these shoes that I just got. They're from Altered State. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, these shoes, these jeans. I'm wearing a pink Gucci belt and the fairy tale top from Crybaby. And yeah, this necklace is also from Altered State. It looks like a little vine. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I'm really feeling this look today. And yeah, oh yeah, guys. So I'm about to have like a big ass spring haul tomorrow. It's gonna be a part of this vlog, but I'm just waiting for a few things to get in the mail right now. So far I went shopping, these two things came in the mail and then another box is gonna come in the mail. And then tomorrow I'm gonna give you guys a big ass luxury haul because I know you guys love those. So right now I'm gonna run to Target and pick up a few things. You guys are gonna come with me. So it's still a little chilly out, so I'm wearing this jacket. This is the full OOTD, and I think Colin's joining it. What? My OOTD. What are you wearing? Show what you're wearing. So I have this sh MTV shirt on. Your hair matches your shirt. And I have <laughs> some nice sweatpants. Um, they bring out my <laughs> very well. Your what? <laughs> what did you say? I'm joking, don't do that. You said your pants bring out your very well. <laughs> so look who decided to join me to Target. <laughs> yeah, it's this me. knucklehead, this inappropriate knucklehead. <laughs> So I'm currently in Target. Let's make sure I get things I actually need since I just splurged on a bunch of spring items for the super big spring haul that I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow. But yeah, let's make sure we get things we actually 
actually need because you know that's like the number one thing that happens to people in Target. You come in for one thing and you leave with like 5,000 things that you didn't think you needed till you got here. Hair dryer, mascara, makeup wipes, and clippy hangers. Guys, I'm failing. I want this coconut oil moisturizing stick and I saw this mask that says Mighty Marshmallow. It says 20,000 marshmallows were used in the largest s'more ever recorded, weighing 1,600 pounds. Thought that might brighten your day. So this is like made out of marshmallows and I need to try this. They're so cute and it's taking my all not to buy that. That is adorable. Oh my goodness. Right, guys, just so you know, I mentioned this in the other vlog, but Colin's hair was messed up in our season four of Nikki and Gabby Take Miami. Oh my God. There's Easter egg garland. <gasps> so I'm out of dish soap, so I had to get dish soap. This is my favorite kind. This smells amazing. It's the color of your hair. <laughs> I got some sponges, because all of ours are dirty. And we got the handy dandy. Tide Pods, Colin's favorite meal. Do not eat Tide Pods. I'm scared that YouTube's gonna demonetize this video or take it down because no. I joked about it. No, they're like intense about these Tide Pod things. I'm in the car and it's nighttime. One of my good friends has an indoor swimming pool. She has like a really beautiful house with this indoor swimming pool. Anyways, needless to say, I am heading over to go swimming. So this is what me and my friends are doing tonight. We're so extra. Wow. I feel like I'm in Disney World right now. Good morning, fancy babies. Um, this creamer is delicious. It's like, what, cannoli creamer? I don't know, I found it at Walmart and it's so good. But anyways, I'm still waiting on that last package so I could give you guys that haul. The haul is gonna be literally incredible. I can't wait. You guys know like every season I always do like a big haul. I'm just hanging tight and waiting. I just did my makeup for the haul portion of this vlog. I do want to address that I know that there's certain things I need to change with my bunny care routine and I'm taking care of it. I didn't end up buying the hutch because the only reason I was gonna buy a hutch was because the bunny community attacked me and said I need to get a hutch. And then later found out that it's not safe. I looked it up online. So I just don't want to be misled on how to care for my animals. I am seeing a vet on Monday and I know a lot of bunny moms. So they're helping me out. But for the meantime, until like I get adjusted to being like a new bunny mom, I'm going to avoid showing my bunnies for a little bit. I'm going to keep them off of YouTube. One time my hamster died because I was fed wrong advice from a comment that I took too literally and I changed my care routine for my hamster and the hamster unfortunately died and that was really sad so I'm just going to keep the bunnies off of YouTube for a little bit and I promise I'm taking good care of them and I really do love them and I don't think they're toys and they mean so much to me already so I'm super excited to see where this goes and Colin and I are being really hands-on with them and we're so happy with them and we're just gonna make sure that they have the best life ever and we're gonna make sure we do things right so yeah no need to address we know a lot of bunny moms and the vets are helping so everything's gonna be good oh my god my package is here give me a signature release so. Last thing spilled the end. And right here, just scribble your name. Right you too. This means haul time! 
Hey fancy babies, so all my things have arrived, so I'm gonna get into this haul. I know you guys have probably been waiting the entire vlog for this part. So I'm gonna start this haul off with Chanel, obviously. And these are my spring Chanel shoes, everyone. Authentication. It's all in French. The little C's, they're so cute. Look at these rose gold flower silk heels from Chanel. Anything Chanel deserves a kiss. But these are so cute. I've been eyeing them out for like a year now. So I felt like I should wait till spring to get them because spring is just so flowery and I'm starting a garden. See, I like to make up all the reasons in the world why I should get things like this. It's not a good habit. It's not but I love these. The next few items I got are from a new website I discovered called Love Story Fancy or Fancy Love Story. I forget what like what order it's in. Doesn't have tag, actually it does. Love Shack Fancy, wow, do you see how I butchered that? Love Shack Fancy and I got these shabby chic headbands. Look how springy that is. This one's light blue with little, little tiny flowers on it. This one is a blue plaid print. I love this one. You get how these look on, but this one is mint. It has little white flowers on it. As you guys know, my friend Emmeline is getting married in two weeks and this is the dress I got from that same website for her wedding. It's so beachy and it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna wear my hair like this with this dress. Let me know in the comments down below if you like that idea. The next designer I shopped was Needle and Thread and I got this dress. It's yellow and beautiful and it glistens. I love this dress, it flows. The embellishment on these dresses is handcrafted so these dresses become a bit pricey but they are really, really good quality and I get a lot of my like special occasion dresses there. I have a feeling what I'm gonna wear this for but you guys can just take your guesses. I love it. Beauty cons tomorrow and this is my dress for the event. It's so pretty and poofy and I'm in love with this dress. I'm gonna wear a Chanel necklace with this and really cute shoes. Just stay tuned for the whole look. I love dressing so girly for BeautyCon, you guys know this. And from Needle and Thread, I also got this shirt. It's cinched around the neckline. I love that and the little detailing up at the top and it has exposed shoulders and an embellished, beautiful glistening bow on the upper left corner. Now this is springy. So I'm from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and near me is the Promenade Shops, and there's this new store called Altered State. It's by far my new favorite store. They have a lot of God-related items in there, a lot of Bible passages on canvases, on mugs, just it's super beautiful, shabby chic, beachy, but also very positive and happy. As you guys know, I love God wholeheartedly. I love going in the store, and I was curious to see what they'd have for around Easter time. And check out these little bralettes. They look like Easter eggs. There's a pink one, or a mauve one, a mint one and a yellow one and all together these look like little Easter eggs I also got this cute little dress belt they have so many beautiful sparkly belts that you could tie around a simplistic dress they have so many of these in the store and I had to go with this one this is gorgeous I also have another big bag from Altered State so give me one second everything's like wrapped up and I didn't realize that so I bought a beach dress because me and Colin are going away to the beach in two weeks because Emmeline's getting married on a beach I don't want to give information away but needless to say me and Colin we're just like let's make a trip out of this so we're staying in this beautiful little bungalow right off of the beach i saw this dress and i was just like this screams a bungalow on the beach and romance <laughs> so pretty i love this so much this is my new favorite dress actually should i wear this to the wedding let me know in the comments down below which dress i should wear to the wedding either way i feel like they both give off like the same vibe the next shirt i got is this loose teal top that ties in the front and it has big ruffle sleeves i think it's so cute oh my goodness this would also be cute for that little beach trip i love it with my hair color and like the pearl earrings i think i think that's a look and like i said because i have so many events coming up i decided i was going to get this cute white petite sundress i actually have an issue so many dresses are made for tall people so as you guys know i'm like five one it's so hard to find dresses that come like way above the knee i hate when dresses go to the knee and this dress fit like a glove it fits so nice it fit for like a really really petite person so pretty and then i got these shorts i love wearing shorts with bows on them and this ties in a bow i mean it's not in a bow now but look at the pink and white stripes and the gold lining oh my goodness 
Last but not least, before I get to the Louis Vuitton shoes, I got these adorable fuzzy socks. They have blush on the tips. Even though it's spring, you guys know I'm like a huge sucker for fuzzy socks. And I got these cute mint socks just for lounging around and chilling, and I like to do that a lot. And now I'm gonna reveal to you guys my Louis Vuitton shoes. Are you guys ready for my spring sneakers? I love these so, so much. I feel like I can never find my size shoes on Louis Vuitton site. And the good thing about sneakers is you could totally wear them in the winter and like all season. These are shoes I'm gonna wear all the time. They're so pretty. And last but not least, guys, I got my own engagement ring for myself. JK. I just got myself a regular ring from Pandora. It looks like an engagement ring kind of. But it's not. I would never, ever, ever buy myself my own engagement ring. Um, it's funny because I actually did a write an assumption about me or whatever on my Instagram. Literally no one left hate, which is surprising. And this one girl from my area decided to go off. She kept commenting like the same thing over and over again, saying like, you're desperate, you're gonna buy your own engagement ring, Colin can't afford one for you. She kept going off and I ended up DMing her just because like, I just felt like what she was saying was really mean and wasn't right. If any of you guys are assuming that by any means, that is definitely not the case. And Colin and I are going to get married when the time is right. No rush at all. Like, he is literally 22 years old. I'm 23. We are so happy. We are settling in our first house. So no rush at all. But, you know, if I'm shopping with my girlfriends and I see a beautiful blingy blingy ring, I'm going to get it for myself. It's from Pandora, by the way, if you guys totally want to copy. It's rose gold and it's a teardrop. But yeah, I ended up not posting that assumptions about me video because you guys are literally so sweet. Anyone that follows me on Instagram is so sweet. I was trying so hard to find people that left like hate assumptions about me, but no one did except for that one girl who went off. She literally went off. She was like, my husband went to high school with you and you're so full of shit. I was just like, wait, what? I don't know. My motto is happy people don't bully people and they definitely don't go out of their way to leave a hate assumption about someone they don't even follow. The girl didn't even follow me. Like... I guess I just wanted to put that in there and this was me kind of just poking fun at that. Um, but yeah, all right guys, that's it for this fancy vlog. This was probably another one of those really long vlogs. I feel like these fancy vlogs turn longer and longer and longer, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay with me and I'm sure that's okay with you. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next fancy vlog. Bye!